Shalom. Kalalaliam lai hau basham yau shai bahar kakwadash. Which is the ancient pillar of Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh. Basham yau shai. Heavenly Father's name. In the name of Yahweh shai. The Son's only name. In the Rukakwadash. Wisdom and Son and Holy Scriptures. Double honor to the apostles and elders of great Masona salutation. I wonder if our 4,000 men to one third men would really like to be saved. This is uh, Brother Yahweh Sa from GMS Ghana. I just want to do a quick lesson on burden and the burden or the yoke of this truth. All right. So um, I had my backpack with me today after work, and I was waiting on this bus with some colleagues from the plantation. And one of them, I uh, lift my ba I took off my bag and I rested on a table, and one of them lifted. And I was like, "What? Was like what? This bag heavy, boy." We really, we really got in this bag, and the, the other ones like, yeah, this one time I moved his back, his backpack, and for, for some, for some reason, and it was real heavy, and I told him books, you know, and then I could detour from from whatever, but I just said books and left as a, but um, you know, it, it led it led me to think about this 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 lesson right here, true spirit, you know, and that. Um, this truth is not for somebody who's not willing to take up the cross and, and bear the burden, you know. And but the thing is, for us, you know, this burden, this burden is light because, you know, if we are of the elect, we will we will carry this cross and carry this burden straight to the end. Our breath is I, you know, or straight to when the Mosai, if the Mosai decide to take us out. You know, decide to um, it's like you translate us, you know. This is Matthew chapter 11, and verse 28. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. All right, and we're heavy laden, and the most are given rest. We're heavy laden by the burden of Babylon, and most have given us rest. All right, not the full rest because we're still in this flesh. These are. Uh, his body that is susceptible to sin and the influences of this wicked ass kingdom it says take my yoke upon you and learn of me see take my yoke upon you and learn of me this Yahweh shall speak in for I am meek and lonely in heart and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light see the burden of Yahweh shall is light but to, to two thirds of Israel is not all right, this is Matthew 23 and verse 1. It says, Then Yahweh shall speak to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribe and Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, and all therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, to be borne on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with one of their their fingers, yeah. And um, this precept makes me think about Christianity, you know. Christianity, how the wicked men of Israel would burden our people with with a lot of iniquity, with with these heavy heavy tides, these uh these different events that they should partake of, and that's why, you know, they're they're saying. Uh, I don't have a, an exact figure of percentage, but it said a lot of people are leaving these churches, you know, because um, because you know there's no substance. It's just it's just for for the for those who are leading the leaders in the church to gain. It's like you, and for the people, and for the members to to lose, you know that that that's not how it should be. You know, the, the Levites, the priests, would give on to the poor, you know, and would give on to the, the widows and the fatherless, you know. But that's why it says, for they, for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born. So, so we got to understand that we're carrying this cross. This cross that you have washed your shed bestowed upon us, you know. Let me see if I found this other precept. Yeah, Matthew chapter 
This is uh, this is Sirach chapter six, verse eighteen. It says, "My son, got the instruction from thy youth. Youth up, so shalt thou find wisdom till thine old age." All right. It says, "Gather instruction." All right. Come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth. That's the yoke, oh, and wait for her good fruits. And the good fruits is what wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Know what to do. Know what know what not to do. Knowing when these people come with their crafty devices. It says for thou shalt not toil much in laboring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon. She is very unpleasant to unlearn, and he that is without understanding will not remain with her. So they want to understand why I would walk around with a Bible every day, but to me, to me is light, you know, to me is light because, um, well, I got like this, this, this mentality that, you know, I like to, uh, keep myself active and, and, and somewhat disciplined and, and strengthen myself. Uh, so I would use like elements elements that would, would well this would be like a weight but is this this both something physical and spiritually benefit to both it you know physically you know it's, it's good exercise and helping me to carry something heavy on my back almost every day because i don't have my own vehicle or whatnot so i walk a lot with this in my backpack but to them they you know they say like yo you got this heavy backpack on your back all the time and but I understand the importance of the contents within the backpack. It means a lot to me, so that's why I would walk with it every day. Even if I don't even take it out, I would still walk with it because you never know through the spirit, you know, and, and it's something that the most is mentally preparing me for. Right, in the near future. Right? It says she is very unpleasant to unlearn. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he will cast her from from him, or it be long, you see that? So I pray that Abash and Oshai that uh, none of us would cast wisdom off of us, you know, that we will continue to do, continue to carry it, which is Yahweh you know, Yahweh is you. As for wisdom is according to her name, and she's not manifest unto many, yeah, because not everybody could bear this burden, and everybody's willing to carry the cross to the end. You know, give ear, my son, and receive my advice, and refuse not my counsel. And put thy feet into her fetters and thy neck into her chain. Yeah. So who would willingly do that? Who would really submit themselves to the, to the what, to the fetters and the chains of wisdom? It has to be someone of understanding, understanding with wisdom, with this wisdom, you won't you won't have to worry about the foolish things of this world. You know. It says twenty five. Bow down thy shoulder and bear her and be not grieved with her bonds. Come unto her with thy whole heart and keep her ways with all thy power. 27. S search and seek and she shall be made known unto thee. And when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. For thou, for thou, for at, that, for at the last, which is the last days, thou shalt find her rest and shall be turned to joy and not turned to thy joy. And that shall be turned to thy joy. So at the last also mean when you when you get through a trial, you know when the Mosai delivers you from from affliction and certain tribulation that we may be going through, then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee, and her chains a robe of of, of glory. So Spock, yeah. So we in this should understand why we would carry a Bible every day, why we would, you know, endure certain things. But a lot of people won't understand because they they want to be in their comfort zone. They want to be conformed to this world, you know. There's another one here. This is uh, Sirach 21 and verse 15. It says, if, if a skillful man hear a wise word, he will commend commend it and add to it but as soon as one of no understanding heareth it it displeaseth him and he casteth it behind his back see that even a simple thing as a word because to them is grievous to carry out certain um 
discipline to obey the will of Yahabash and Rishai. Jake is fighting for simple things as, 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 a, as meats, as a piece of pork, as dressing, as pulling up his damn pants. So much as on the harder things, you know. You know, so this burden that that we carry, we just gotta keep pressing on towards the mark, pressing on towards the mark, and um, you know, and wait for a deliverance, you know. So anyway, yeah, I wish I already said the yoke is like, and the most I won't give us more than we can bear. So with that, I wanna give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahar Kakwadash. Double honest the apostles, elves of great Masona salutations to the hundred and five four thousand men, the one third men, women, children like to be saved. Shalom Brakata until another time.